if I take four plus five, have a think and then put your hands on your knees if you know that double plus one, what the answer is. Samantha? Nine. Thank you. So four plus five makes nine. Now, what I want you to think about is this problem. What would be four dogs plus five dogs? Have a think. Is it the back there? Nine dogs. Nine dogs. Okay, what if it was four apples plus five apples? Have a think, and if you know the answer, you can put your hands on your knees. Yes, what would it be? Nine apples. It would be nine apples, wouldn't it? It's kind of useful to know four plus five equals nine, isn't it? It helps us to solve lots of things. What if it was four tens plus five tens? William. Nine tens. Be nine tens. Now I'm going to get a little sneaky. I'm going to see if I can trick you because I can see people have figured out the pattern, which is why it's so helpful to know these fundamental facts. I'm going to see if I can mix up the way I write some of those things. What if I had four tens plus 50? Ninety. It would be ninety. And I wonder if there would be another way, if we wanted to, that we could write the answer to four tens plus fifty. Instead of writing ninety, could there be something else? Nine lots of ten. Ah, so I could write it as nine lots of ten. Great. Is there another way I could write the answer of ninety? Put your hands on your knees so I can see you. If not, keep thinking. Get thinking. Yes, what do you think? Nine tens. Nine tens, just like up there. So I'll put a little comma because that could be the answer. Okay, I'm going to get super tricky now. I'm going to see if I can be even more clever about the way I mix up my problems and my questions. What if I wrote 4t plus 5 tens? I wonder what that would equal. Afia? 9 tens. 9 tens. Same answer, isn't it? Is there another way I could write that answer? 90. I could write 90. Would there be one more way I could write the answer? Yes. The word 90? I could write the word 90 if I had room. I'll have to write it sideways. Okay. So those are all ways that I can write the same idea. And all of it goes back to our fundamental facts. And that's what you're going to be using now in your workbooks. You're going to see an activity that says 4 plus 3 equals 7. We know that because we've been practicing in our repeated practice. It then says, if I know that, I also know 40 plus 30 equals 70. Now, then it gives you lots of problems like we just solved together. And it says, for example, 5 tens plus 4 tens. What would that equal? 5 tens plus 4 tens. Yes, 9 tens. Okay, just like the example, but flipped. And so you would put a 9 beside the 9 tens. Now, in this, it shows you an arrow. So it says five tens plus four tens equals nine tens. That's the answer that you put. I have to rub this out because then there's an arrow in your workbook. And that shows us there's another way to write it. It says we can also write it like we just worked out. We know we can write five tens and four tens like that. Who could read that and tell us what the answer to that would be, to that question? Yes. 90. It would be 19. Can you read the whole question for us, the whole equation? 50 plus 40 equals 90. Great. Okay. And in some of the questions in your workbook, it's tried to trick you just the way I did. Sometimes you're going to see tens, sometimes you're going to see the words, and sometimes you're going to see just the numbers together, making up those numbers with tens. And all of them are using our fundamental facts that we know to help us. Can I have a thumbs up sideways or down to show me? I understand what I'm going away to do now on my own, or with a partner if I need some help. 
I'm still a little bit unsure, so I might need to talk to a buddy before I go away, or I'm really unsure, so I need to talk to Mrs. Peterson for a minute before I go off. So just show me honestly, please. Okay, thank you for being honest. We'll make sure you talk to a buddy first. Okay, great. Well done, Yulong. I can see that. Okay, we'll get going on our student workbooks now. What I'd like you to do is stand up and go to your desk.